A new government report showing 40% of income tax filers are paying no income taxes at all and are getting money back. And this has someone here saying enough is enough. You want America's debt mess cleaned up? It's time for all Americans to pay up. Hello, everybody. I'm Cheryl Cassoni, and welcome to Cashin' In. Our cash in and crew this week, Wayne Rogers, Jonathan Honig, Jonas Max Barris, and Tracy Burns. And joining us for the first time here in our New York studio, hello to our good friend Christian Dorsey from the Economic Policy Institute. John Layfield's going to be back next week. He's right now hobnobbing in South Africa at the World Cup. Poor John. Welcome to everybody. All right. So, Jonathan, so did we just find a way to solve America's debt crisis, do you think? Well, I mean, Cheryl, 70% of the taxes are paid by such a small few, 20% of filers. And as you pointed out, 40% of filers not only pay no taxes, but actually get money back from the government. We need to not only stop the spending, stop the entitlement, but get rid of this, this progressive Marxist notion from each according to his ability to each according to his need and spend now because don't worry, some rich guys down the hill will pick up the tab for the rest of us. Christian, that's this... the philosophy that reigns and that's what needs to end. You know, Christian, this... The CBO report, I mean, granted it's for 2007, but the fact that most Americans are not paying any income tax at the end of the day kind of shows the imbalance. What if everybody pays just a little bit? We're out of debt in this country. No, not at all. I mean, certainly uh, people are paying taxes. It's just not they have a, a federal income tax burden. When you factor in their local taxes as well as their state taxes, you find that the poorest 90 percent are paying almost the same share of income taxes uh, or total taxes as the upper 1 percent. So clearly uh, they're taxed at a high rate well, and uh, just because well, they're not paying federal that, income not, tax not, doesn't not, mean they have no tax burden. Jonathan? Well, it it's not, they're not, first, for one thing, Christian, they're nowhere near as productive. I mean, you give all the freebies back to people who aren't tremendously productive to society, and then every opportunity, of course, tear down the most productive people, the people who produce for a living. Want to have a flat tax? Well, great, let's have a flat tax. We can give everyone the same tax burden. But to suggest somehow that rich people owe the rest of us, I think no, it's wrong. Some unproductive. Well, Jonas, yeah, <laughs> big time. Uh, Jonas. Just, there's a couple unproductive rich people, too, out there, I think. Uh, you know, Look, Jonathan's partially right on this thing. There's nothing inherently wrong, though, with the progressive Marxist progressive tax code. However, that still means you pay some tax at the low level. And right now, that Bush tax cut was unaffordable. And it was unaffordable not just for people over under $250,000. It should have been reversed after that last recession, or we should add serious pay, uh, spending cuts to pay for it. Neither happened, so it needs to go away for everybody, not just the rich. Everybody's got to pay more income taxes because we can't cut spending, and that's the bottom line of the budget. Wayne, what all of this data basically shows us is that we have an opportunity here as a country to change the tax code, change the system, and get this country out of debt. Why don't we take it? Well, because the Congress is politically inept, because they're stupid, because they're bribed, because the, the, the people who, who lobby the Congress are more interested in them and the congressmen themselves are. It's a, it's a dumb system. This system has got to be replaced with some sort of a consumption tax. We need a national sales tax. Get rid of the income tax. That will cut across all categories. That I'm not trying to necessarily balance the budget. I'm just trying to say that the, the, the tax question that we're raising today has got to be one that's a more of a fair tax. You cannot have the top 10 percent of the people in the United States paying 71 percent of the taxes. I, you can't have the top 1 percent paying, you know, 35 percent of the taxes. Somebody has got to give here, and you've got to have a fair tax where everybody pays their yeah. fair share, and that's a consumption tax. And Tracy? Cheryl, I agree with Wayne completely, and his, his point is a good one about why it won't happen, though, is because the tax code right now is basically a book of favors. And and that's what happens down in D.C. People try to get favors and they do it through the tax code. And unfortunately, it's become so convoluted, but yet it's necessary for business down there that it's not going to go anywhere. A flat tax, a fair tax, any kind of tax across the board would solve this problem. But, 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 Christian? What's unfair about you know, this situation? Let's talk in real terms. Someone in the upper 1%, $1.6 million in income, they're paying about $500,000 in taxes. Someone making $50,000 a year is paying about $12,000 in taxes. So who would you rather be? 
What's unfair about the tax code as it is now? But Why I, do we need to change but it? But hold on. If, if you look at well, the, well, even well, for 2009, even Christian for 2009, if you look at the structure and what they found, it's, it's basically 47% ended up paying nothing because of credits, because of deductions, because the, of all the write offs. So I mean, that's where I'll the unfairness is. And that's what I'm saying. Credit, that they're not, Christian, on, I'll tell on, you guys. what's unfair the, about the it. It's because those people who are making that, that big amount of money are the people who are contributing to the capital. That's what's unfair about it. You're taxing capital. You're not just taxing income, you're taxing capital. But we don't tax capital the same way we do income, income Wayne, not at oh, all. We no, don't. It's, it's a, a much tax. lower rate. That so the tax is on, on, tax. on lower income people is much greater. When you're taxing income at that level, you're taxing capital. All right, let me well, take this to Jonathan for a, a second, a, because you kicked this off with well, me, Jonathan. And, you know, okay, so we've got a VAT tax as a possibility here, consumption tax, get rid of income tax. I mean, what should we do to deal with the debt issues? Well, well, I to, to, to Jonas's point, stop spending. I don't think there's enough money in the world to cover the type of debts that we're racking up in terms of the entitlement spending in this country. But I think what needs to go is that notion that the rich owe everyone else, that they get rich on the backs of everyone else. And even, almost seems to say every, pre, every one of the president's ideas specifically targets, what, people making above $250,000 a year. Maybe that's going to be two hundred, maybe one fifty. But as long as we have that notion that you don't have a right to the money that you earn in a free market, it's tyranny. Look, rich people should be paying a higher rate than poor people because they essentially can. But it doesn't mean middle class people Why should be able to get all these. That look, statement. the middle I don't class people that don't statement. pay any tax. That's the fifty thousand dollar home with the right. home deduction and the kid deduction and this right. deduction. They're not paying any ride. tax. That is the problem. But that middle class man with kids is getting a free ride by but the what's system. The, that Their rate needs to go up. That not as high as the wealthy, tax credit needs but to go higher. Then too. You need to get rid of that earned income tax credit. Then you want to get rid of the stuff at the top. You get rid of the stuff at the bottom. That is the, it is wrong. Nobody pays tax because of that. Wayne Rogers, last word, sir. What's that? Last word to you. <laughs> well, I told you the last word is the first word. You've got to get rid of the income tax and go to a consumption tax. That's the only fair way to do this because you can't, you can't support this any other way. All right. All right.